All right, so this is material sorter number three, Cal Poly Pomona CTI summer 2011. The way this is going to work, and you're going to get, we're going to get mad in the picture here. Um, the marbles will be poured in, into that. They'll come down the uh, track, and at this point here, they're going to get clogged up, and so they've got a little agitator paddle, which will let one at a time. It'll then go down here, and they're splitting the large marbles by size. The large ones will keep going this way and fall into the cup, but the smaller ones will fall into that space. Well, then they will then go down that track and go down that track. You can see the light sensor in the distance. And then when it does that, there's a uh, um, uh, conveyor or a sprocket and chain that will pull the buckets, the bins, one way or the other to allow them to dump in. All right. Greg, if you will. All right, so then when Matt starts the, so there's one, we go there. What's really nice about their design is that they are not using a light, they're only using ambient light. They found that with the clear and the dark, the way they have that hitting the light sensor is that as it just runs into the light sensor, you know, the ambient light is blocked from the entire sensor, which is a very ingenious uh, well, I've never never seen this done either with Fisher Tech or with Vex before, so very uh, unique. Uh, well, let's, let me know when another stainless steel one's going to go. Here comes a blue, and then oh yeah, we've got a blue one. So let's see the blue one here. That's the larger size. It's going to go down in the cup. Here's the stainless, stainless, stainless steel here. Yeah, there you go. No touches, you know. Nice catch. So is there, oh, there's one more aluminum, one more clear. Nice catch. Excellent. Well done, guys.